Hello again, Bob Stockberger with you, pastor of LifePoint Giles. Welcome to our midweek devotion, Half Step Jesus. What in the world does that mean? Well, we're going to find out. We're studying in uh, Matthew chapter 16 in a very important lesson Jesus was teaching to his disciples um, as he had them alone and he went over with them what people thought about him. They said, what do people say that the Son of Man is? What do they think he's saying about me? And the disciples answered, of course, that uh, John the Baptist, who was a prophet, uh, called a prophet, uh, Elijah, Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. So all of the answers that the disciples gave to Jesus' questions, what does the world say I am, were prophets. Now, the interesting thing is that is what goes on now. Many, many, many belief systems who do not believe in the Trinity say that Jesus is not God. He is a prophet. So Jesus is a, a half step above a human, but he's a half step below God. Don't you see that? He's better than a human, but he is not God. So he's a half step. He's a half step up from humans and a half step down from God. And that's what they call Jesus. They don't use those words, but that's what they mean. Because when they call Jesus a prophet, that's exactly what that word means to Jesus. He's a half step Jesus. Now, Jesus goes on to ask his disciples, well, what do you, who do you say that I am? I love that. The I am, of course, is the four-letter Yahweh for God. And <clears throat> Simon Peter, of course, immediately replied, you are the Christ. Christ is the Greek word for Messiah. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God, the living God that created this world, this universe, us. You are the Son. And Jesus said, blessed are you, Peter. He calls him a new name, Petros. And he tells him, you did not receive this from flesh and blood. You received this from my Father in heaven. And that's an important statement because, you see, when we're called to be a follower of Jesus Christ, we don't totally understand much of anything. We are drawn to Him. The Holy Spirit draws us, convicts us. And we hear from heaven, the throne room of God, through the Holy Spirit, that tells us who Jesus is. And we claim Him as Messiah as our Lord, as our Savior. That comes from the Holy Spirit. So the, the disciples claim that, and that is what Jesus is. But don't you see how hard it is nowadays? People so often dismiss Jesus. Oh, he's a great teacher, great prophet, a great example, so on and so forth. But that's calling Jesus a half step. And Jesus teaches us Totally the opposite. He says in John um, 10, 30, I and the Father are one. Jesus is saying that I and the Father are one. And he goes on to say a couple of chapters later in John 12, 44, whoever believes in me believes not in me, but him who sent me. So when you believe in Jesus, you believe in the God that sent him. So 2,000 years ago, a majority of the world then thought Jesus was just a prophet, a half-step. 2,000 years later, that's exactly what we have now. majority of the world believes Jesus is just a great prophet, teacher. He's a half-step because they don't understand the Trinity. And Christian, the Christian faith is defined by this, 
We worship a triune God. The Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, it's true. Even though we don't totally understand, it's still a mystery to us. Our human minds can't understand all that. But God is one in nature. God is one. And He has three functions. The Father, who sent the Son, who acts through the Holy Spirit. The three in one. One nature, three functions. God is one. Jesus teaches us that. And that is what we believe as Christians. And our answer to that question is the most important decision we'll ever make in our life. More important than marrying your wife, more important than your job, your career. Your decision on how you answer that question, who do you say that I am? Jesus asks you. He asks me. And if we say, Jesus, you're a half step. That is denying the truth. Jesus says, the Father and I are one, and the the Trinity is true. And we cannot deny that truth. So I pray right now, if you struggle with this, if you still say that Jesus is a half step, If you still don't understand uh, the Christian faith and you're rejecting it, running away from it, I pray right now that you will come to a saving faith in Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God, and worship that triune God, that Trinity, that will bring you peace, love, joy, and everlasting fellowship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Pray with me. Father God, it's so easy to dismiss Jesus as a half step. It's so easy to say he's a great person, a great prophet, a great teacher. But that dismisses the truth. That dismisses what Jesus says about himself. Oh, Father, now I pray if there's someone listening who's struggling, you will touch their heart through your Holy Spirit, that they will come into a saving faith with the Messiah, Jesus Messiah, the Son of the living God. And their life will be transformed in one of joy and peace that this world can never give and an abundant life now and an eternal life with you in your heaven. Father, I pray these things in your most holy name through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're struggling with calling Jesus a half step, if you are thinking you may want to have a faith in Jesus Christ, please email me. There's my email. There's all of our contact information. If you'd like to contribute to LifePoint Giles, there's our Venmo account. If you'd like to follow our sermons, there's our Facebook page. Uh, and our YouTube channel where you can see all of the sermons and other midweek devotions. And if you live in the Giles County area, we'd love to have you visit us Sunday morning at 1115, every Sunday as we worship God together. Have a blessed week. See ya.